I'm freaking out. Oh my freaking goodness. Oh my gosh. Is it bad that my first thought is I wonder if it's a girl or boy? <laughs> I don't know how far along I am. Oh my gosh, that's pretty far though. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Oh my gosh, Zach's gonna be so excited. <laughs> Oh my gosh, like I don't even know what to do. I want to tell somebody. Okay, so backstory. I've been kind of nauseous like every day for the past few weeks um i thought it was because i switched up my supplement regimen which i was going to be sharing soon um i switched out my multivitamin and my zinc my vitamin d i like lessened the dose so like a lot of times when you switch up multivitamins and stuff it can make you feel nauseous and just like not good for a while until your body adjusts or until you figure out a better time to take them or better food to take them with. I've not had a period since October. Um, I've only had one actual period since I had Ezra because of my PCOS. Like I'm super irregular and um, I've been on this like process of losing weight. So when we moved into this house, we were eating crap. I, I was letting my PCOS kind of go by the wayside not thinking about it because to be honest, Ezra was in the stage where I was like, you know what, I don't even want to get pregnant right now because it's been really intense with him. <laughs> so I've been nauseous and I like I swore that it was from my pills. And I just not been feeling very well. Zeke like ran into my chest the other day and my boobs kind of hurt. And I was like, maybe I'm getting my period. I've been cramping every night. I'm like, maybe my body is just trying to cycle again. I was literally just thinking that my body was like just kickstarted. Okay, so I just took a pregnancy test to make sure because i like to know these things because i have low progesterone i have a history of miscarriage and oh my goodness the line is so dark like i've i've tested early for my other pregnancies and both of them were never this dark so um, it just makes me wonder like how far along could i be because with Zeke, it was faint, and I was like three or four weeks along. And with Ezra, it was extremely faint to where we didn't even know if it was true or not. And I was like t like two or three weeks, I think. That is stinking dark. <laughs> I ended up taking a, a third because with like fresh pee because I just wanted to make sure. But oh my gosh, this is nuts. Also, this changes a lot. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my body must just ovulate super weird. So I found out with Zeke um, a lot like this and I found out on January 22nd on a Sunday. It is January 17th on a Sunday. <laughs> so their birthdays are gonna be so close. Oh, and Ezra's a December baby, so he was only just a little bit after. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking pregnant. I'm gonna, oh my gosh, all of our boys are gonna be like two years apart. I said boys, It's maybe it'll be a girl. I just, I've just been assuming all my kids will be boys. <sighs> They're all gonna be two years apart-ish. I'm processing everything right now, oh my gosh. <sighs> Sorry, I feel like I'm just like geeking out. I feel like I just need to stop recording because I'm just gonna keep saying oh my gosh a thousand times. I need to figure out how I'm gonna tell Zach. <laughs> this is so freaking fun. I, this is how I've always wanted to find out. Zeke was like really emotional for me because like we've been trying for like two and a half years and like his, I found out and I just like immediately was like sobbing and it was like amazing and emotional. And with Ezra, it was like, we were trying really intensely. Uh, we were tracking everything because I had my cycle. We had miscarried twice, like early miscarriages, like chemical pregnancies. Um, we had that happen twice so like with his it was very like it just felt so regimented and like okay i'm pregnant and then but then like we weren't really that excited because it felt like maybe it wasn't going to stick around that's a freaking dark line zeke wasn't even that dark i could be farther ahead i don't know i'm not gonna jump the gun 
Anyway, so this is fun because I get to like surprise Zach with it because Zach was home when I took the test with Ezra and it was one of those tests that we were like, is that positive? So we weren't like super excited until it was confirmed. Oh, this is exact. I've always wanted this. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Like I've always wanted to just like find out like in all of my like journey with infertility, like I never thought this would happen. I am still very confused because like, I have not cycled, so I have no idea when this could have happened. Oh my gosh, yay! <sighs> okay, so Ezra woke up. Say hi. How do you feel about being a big brother? What do you think? <laughs> he has no idea. He's not gonna understand anything. Here's your water. So, one of the things that I'm like processing a little bit is just like, oh honey, um, our year is just gonna look a lot different than we anticipated, um, which is awesome. Like, I, I have no like negative feelings at all. I've already called my best friend Sarah. Um, I had to because I was freaking out and I had just needed to show somebody. And then I really want to call my mom, but I'm not. Going. <laughs> Hi, Ezra. Are you going to be walking? Let's hopefully get you walking before the baby. I just, it's going to be nuts. Like, the age gap is going to be so fun, like, someday, but it's always really hard at the beginning when they're so close. Um, I feel like there's, like, positives and negatives to every single age gap, so I don't, I, I wouldn't wish any other age gap on my kids. I actually had an annual appointment scheduled for Thursday. I look terrible, like, <laughs> Chelsea, come on. I had an annual appointment scheduled for Thursday and I had just told, I my doctor and I are all, like, on texting terms. She was over the other week and I told her like, I think I'm gonna cancel it because um, I just don't feel like I need an annual right now and I'm not due for a pop. And I just was like, I think I'm just gonna cancel it because I'm sick of going to appointments. <laughs> Anyway, I just texted her pictures of the tests and I was like, um, I guess I'll see you Thursday. But she was like, cancel the appointment and then you're gonna need to schedule a, a dating ultrasound because we have no idea when this baby was conceived. It's just crazy, it's also crazy, I can't believe this. Like, I mean, I've been thinking like, oh man, I guess I could be pregnant like the last week. But I just really, um, I really wasn't expecting it. Like I was fully intending for that test to be negative today, like mentally. I just was like, there's no way it'll be positive. I feel like a lot of my symptoms were reflecting that of like, I'm taking too many supplements at one time. I've had these like waves before, but what was weird is I noticed that no matter when I took the supplements, no matter what I ate, I was getting nauseous around like two to 4 p.m. every day which is weird because it's like not morning sickness, which is something they don't tell you. Like they call it morning sickness, but it's so not morning sickness. It can be any kind of sickness. It can be constant sickness. I did not have sickness with Zeke. I remember with him, my sign was like my boobs were so sore that I could hardly shower. That was my only symptom with him though. That made me think like maybe I should take a test. And with Ezra, obviously like I tested so early, I didn't even have symptoms with him at the beginning. And then around four to five weeks, I think I started getting sickness with him. So that's where I'm like, I'm not gonna just try to guess the gender based off of like what I feel because I did not have sickness with Zeke and I had some pretty intense sickness in the beginning with Ezra. I do plan to do the sneak peek test. Once I find out how far I am, I'm gonna do the sneak peek test because I like to know. I'm tooting. <laughs> it's crazy to think that like, I was just saying, like we're coming up on that time where I was like really trying to get pregnant with a second and like, I just feel like with Ezra, like he stayed a baby a lot longer because he was so delayed with his um, movement and he's like still not walking. And so it just feels very different than it did with Zeke. Like when I got pregnant with Ezra, Zeke was like a toddler, like a very clear toddler, like to me at least. I mean, maybe not to like another person, but to me compared to his baby stage, like very toddlery. And now Ezra just still seems like a baby to me. He's trying to poop. You want more? You say more? <laughs> you want more? Oh, that was cute. You blinked. Say more. You are cute. <laughs> Do 
Are you a big brother? Yeah. I have something to tell you. Huh? Do you think you can help me with something? Yeah. So I have to surprise Daddy later. Okay. Do you know what I have to surprise him with? Yeah. Okay. Look. Come here. I want to show you this. Do you see these? Yeah. How many lines do you see? <gasps> oh, honey, don't touch them. Don't touch them. Yucky. Do you see two lines? Yeah. One, two? Yeah. Did you know that two lines? Yeah. Mommy took this test, okay? Guess what it means? <coughs> Mommy is, it has a baby in her tummy. Oh. Do you Ezra? want, do you, not Ezra, do you want another baby brother or baby sister? Maybe a baby brother. You want another baby brother? Well, it's not showing yet, but mommy's belly will get really big. Okay. Do you remember when my belly got really big with Ezra? Yeah. That's going to happen again. But yeah. I need to turn the noise on. Not right now. Buddy, you're going to be another big brother. Is it going to be scary? No, it's not going to be scary. It's going to be fun. It's going to be crazy. Are you excited to be another big brother? <laughs> Buddy, mommy just told you really big news. Hey, can you show me where the baby is? Yeah. Where's the baby? Where's the baby? Ezra. No, not Ezra. Buddy, mommy has a new baby in her tummy. A new belly button? In my belly button? Yeah. There's gonna be a new baby. Do it. You need a what? I need a gun to do it. You want to see the baby? Yeah. Well, it's not big yet. Okay. The baby will grow. Mommy's belly will get big. Yeah. And then the baby will be here just like Ezra. Yeah. Do you want a baby brother or uh, a baby sister? Uh, a baby sister. You want a sister? Yeah. Daddy doesn't know that mommy has a baby in her belly. So do you want to help mommy tell daddy later? Him. You don't want to tell him? Yeah. You want it to be our secret? Hey, buddy, well, how about when daddy gets home from church tonight? I let you stay up a little bit later and you can tell daddy. Oh. Do you want to tell daddy? No, I don't. <laughs> and what happened? Zeke, you literally, all you have to do is say, daddy, guess what? You practice? Yeah. Say, daddy, guess what? Box. Wow. Okay. I, I, I get sweet. Your boom box? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, okay, well, we'll work on this. <laughs> I didn't expect anything different. Did you see that? Yeah. I need the extra face on. No, I'm not going to put that on. Yeah. Ezra, do you want to tell Daddy? I'm not, uh, uh. <laughs> We're going to make a sign for Daddy. I don't have a ton of time before Zach gets home and I'm not the type that can hold a secret in for multiple days. So we're going to make a little paper. sign that says, like, I, need a I know, we're going to color. I think I just wanted to say like, daddy times three or something like that. Buddy. But I need a paper. I need a paper yet, why? I know, but we're gonna color, okay? <laughs>
I have all these little different. This one has a sun. Do you know what this says? Yeah. Daddy times three. I, I got this on my ear. Which means Daddy's gonna have three babies. All of them? Yeah. All of them. <gasps> that, I just make a four. Is that a paw print? Yeah. But it's a whip. This is open. And just a disclaimer, totally would have done something cuter. That, that's like the said, one. Cannot keep it. And then you have to do the green one. How about over here? Can you just move over here? Yeah. I did it. That's the that that's great, bud. Oh, that is a silly heart. A silly heart? Yeah. Yeah. That is a jingle bell. Jingle bells. Ooh, I like this one. This one's suns. The sunshine. I can't wait for more sunshine. When it gets warm out again, we can play outside every day. Yeah, I'll make a moon. That looks really good, bud. Then I'll name it Jupiter. <laughs> Jupiter? Yeah. I just name it Jupiter. And then that is the one right there. Yeah? It's a big one. Ew. Ew. What? Ew. You got some on your hands? Yeah. Oh. That's it. Uh, but that's okay. We can do that. You see that? That is it. See? How about you hop over here and do some more over here? Oh, okay. I'm gonna do I did it! Yes. Um, let me make the D. So maybe you do the yellow. What the yellow sun? Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're welcome. Buddy, are you excited to be a big brother again? Yeah. Oh no. You were such a good that big brother when Ezra was born. Yeah. That's a <laughs> What's the sun? What's the sun? The sun? Yeah. This one right there. Oh, that's silly. That doesn't say yours. And then let me do it to the boom. What's it get? It's over there. Oh, that's great, bud. <laughs> well, we're gonna finish this up and then I'm gonna tape the pregnancy test all over here because I took four of them because I'm crazy. They all look the same but three different peas, so just had to be sure. Then let me do a good, uh, um, let me do that. Yeah, that's fine, it's a marker. Yeah. You just keep it on the paper, okay? And then you do a good orange, I like orange. Well, the next shot will probably be Zach finding out. Which I'm super ready for because I literally took the test right after he left today at like 2 o'clock. He left at 2 and I I knew by 2.30. And I just so badly wanted to call him and be like, come back home. But it's more fun this way. So, But I'm definitely excited to process this with him rather than by myself. <laughs> Just hold it. <laughs> so excited. Um, I'm just gonna have this rolling. Hopefully, it catches something. Hey, can I just do that? 
Wow, you drew that so good, buddy. High five. Do <laughs> you know what it says? Those are solid tests. <laughs> I have no idea how far I went. <laughs> oh, what is this thing that's here? Are you vlogging this? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so exciting. Oh my goodness. No. You've been feeling it for weeks. I know. I, also, I, I really didn't think it would be positive though. This one showed up immediately dark and I was like, oh, it's kind of like a... Like that's probably the control line. I have to wait for this one to show up. No, it was the other way around. So like, this showed up within a second. So like, it was like immediately lit. Wow. Babe, like, the due date. If I'm like four weeks ish, September twenty sixth. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. This year's this year's gonna look a little different than my pictures. Yeah. <laughs> I just literally laughed all day long. How long have you know? I so you left it too. You took a test at like. Right I took it. a test at two fifteen because I was nauseous again. I wasn't feeling good, and I was like, okay, what the heck? Like I did take my pills this morning. I told oh, you, like I need to eat something. Taking your I mean, I've been like pretty on them since October. Okay. Like. September. It was September when I got so back on my regimen. Like no, I don't think I would be that far along. But the nausea usually doesn't kick in until four weeks. Because that's when that hormone. For how many Three weeks. So, you could so I like could be months. like, yeah, I could. It could be like a mid-December. Like we could have conceived mid-December. I don't know. Or I could just be fresh and maybe the hormones are just really strong this time. Like I don't understand why these tests would be so dark. So no. when Heather was over. I and texted her today. Her yeah, I texted her today. You're like so. I texted her pictures of the first two and was like, um, so I'm not canceling my appointment Thursday. <laughs>